Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana. Today we are making easy favorite restaurant style chicken chimichangas. These are amazing. You're gonna love making them, but most importantly, you're gonna love eating them. All right, before we get started, I do wanna invite you to subscribe, like this video, and also click the notification bell. Let's get started. I have already prepped four cups of cooked shredded chicken. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can buy a rotisserie chicken and shred it, which I think is the easiest. Or cook some chicken breast in boiling water, add a couple of aromatics in there, salt, and once the chicken is completely cooked, you can remove it from the broth, allow it to cool down, shred it, and there you have it. I'll set the chicken aside momentarily because I need to dice half of a medium white onion. We also need to roughly dice a quarter of a medium white onion. And I'm gonna keep them separated because they are gonna be incorporated into the dish differently. Just follow me. You'll understand as we go. Also remove the stem area from two tomatoes because I'm gonna do something similar to what I did with the onions. One of the tomatoes is gonna get finely diced. Transfer it into a dish because we also want to keep the tomato separated. And for this tomato, roughly dice it. Place a pan over medium low heat and heat a couple of tablespoons of oil. And you know I'm using avocado oil. <laughs> Once the oil is hot, add the roughly diced onion and two whole peeled garlic cloves and stir as needed. This smells amazing. The onions have started to soften, so add in the roughly diced tomatoes. This is ready when the onions and tomatoes are fully cooked and you'll know because the tomatoes are gonna look mushy. Remove it from the heat. While the mixture we just cooked cools, let's talk about the dried peppers. We're using dried morita peppers, which is a type of chipotle. These are amazing, they have so much flavor in them, but they are dry, so we have to rehydrate them. And all I did was cover them completely with hot water and allow them to soak for about an hour. These do take longer to rehydrate, but it is worth it. Once they're rehydrated, we're gonna remove the seeds. We're only gonna be using two and add them right into your blender cup. I love these because they're spicy, sweet, and smoky, the perfect combination. Also add half a teaspoon of achiote powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, a quarter of a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon of brown sugar, and one cup of the liquid we soaked the chipotles in. And finally, place all of the mixture we cooked earlier right in there. It smells so good. This sauce is gonna be epic. All right, cover and blend. Place a large pan over medium heat and add about three tablespoons of oil. When the oil is nice and hot, add the finely diced onion. When the onion has started to soften, stir in the finely diced tomatoes. The tomatoes have started to soften. Now add the chicken. Stir to combine 
and season with one teaspoon of kosher salt or to taste. Allow the chicken to reheat for a couple of minutes and then pour in the chipotle sauce. Yes, I'm loving this. I'm gonna lower the heat to medium low because I want the chicken to continue cooking for about two minutes, but I don't want it to dry out. Everything looks beautiful. At this point, taste, and if it needs salt, feel free to add to your liking, but this one's good. So I'm just gonna remove it from the heat. We're almost ready. I'm so excited about assembling these. What I like to do first is take my flour tortilla and heat them up. Don't let them get too crispy. You just wanna pass them through the fire or through the heat. No fire here. And this will allow them to get a bit more pliable. Okay, add a generous portion to the tortilla. And I like to put it off the center. Add some cheese. Ooh, this is gonna make it over melty and creamy and cheesy. Oh, I'm loving it. Take the edge and tuck it under the meat. Tuck the sides. Sort of like if you were making a burrito. Make it tight and roll all the way and keep the seam side down. And now that you've seen me make the chimichangas, let's finish making the rest. That's right, I made a whole wheat flour tortilla chimichanga. I'm excited about it too. <laughs> Our last step is to fry them. You wanna be able to get a golden brown color on all of the sides and allow them to get nice and crispy. By the way, make sure you place them seam side down. All right, let's finish what we started. And I wanna make a beautiful platter, a great presentation, simple to make, but delicious to look at. Okay, start by arranging a nice bed of greens, lettuce at the bottom. This is gonna give us some height and color. We love that contrast of beautiful colors. Arrange the chimichangas on top. Oh, this is looking so good. And I'm arranging them sort of like in an angle. Here, let me get my, clean my hands. I'll keep this close by. <laughs> and now Mexican style cream. I'll just do a couple of lines across. Next, I wanna do some guacamole. And I've shown you how to make this before. I have a whole video dedicated to three ways of making guacamole. I'll link it down in the description area so you can take a look at it and master how to make great guacamole. I'll do some dollops. Finally, for that touch of color, a pop of shade, I'm gonna do radishes. Ooh, yes, yes. Beautiful. Look at these, fall in love. I'll give you a moment to just fall in love with them. All right, it is time to taste. Let's see, let's get Nelson's plate ready. I heard that crunch. <laughs> All right, get some of that guacamole. You know what, I'm just gonna grab it with my fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's Nelson is in full motion. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right. Mm. 
Mm. So good. It gets more impressive than the, by the day. <laughs> Mm. Wow. I'm gonna invite you to try this at home, make it, then come back and let me know how it went down in the comments area. Also, don't forget you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. All right, until the next one. See y'all. It's good. Why is the lettuce sweet?